Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another day of Vlogmas here, boo. And today I'm doing a sit down talk about something that I've been needing to talk to you guys about. And it's really about how to no longer be delusional about a man, okay? So if you are new here, then you don't know. But my name is Morgan Tracy J, and I talk on faith, fashion, and fearlessness, okay? And not too long ago, I did a video, a story time, about me being delusional for years on years about a certain man in my life. And I did not expect this, but so many ladies felt what I was talking about. So many ladies had their delusional stories as well. And some of them were still being delusional. Um, so many women had their own experiences with this. And so today I was like, you know what? I want to do a follow up video to that. And I want to talk about three ways on how to stop being delusional about a man, okay? And you know what, guys? I can talk about this because I've been there, done that, okay? So I wanna give you three ways on how to stop being delusional about that man, sis, okay? Let's do it. And I got it in my phone because see, sometimes these ideas come to me at night and I was in my bed last night and I got everything for this video. And I was like, thank you, Lord. Like, I need to share that because it's stuff I know, but maybe not everybody knows. First thing is, I got to say this. If you have not already signed up for our vision board party, sis, then what are you doing? We are having a vision board pajama party, December 28th. Link in the description box below. Sign up. Okay, sis, it's going to bless your life. I know it is. But anyways, let's get on to tip number one. Three ways on how to stop being delusional about a man. Tip number one, sis, you got to disconnect from the outcome. This right here, that means you got to let go, but not just say, oh, I'm going to let it leak. I'm going to leave it in the Lord's hand and whatever happened, happened. We say that all the time, but when reality of what the outcome could be, we get back nervous. We get back anxious. We get back scared. So the first thing is you got to disconnect from whatever the outcome is going to be. You are not God and you can't tell God how things are going to work their way out. We can have hopes and dreams, but one way how to stop being delusional about a man is you disconnect. You disconnect, you take away that energy that you was putting all there in that place. You disconnect that energy from, oh, it's got to be this or it's got to end up this way. No, you disconnect that and you say, however way this is going to end, let it end, Lord. However way this is going to play out, let it play itself out, Lord. I cannot control that. And I'm not going to stand over here in a spirit of control when I'm supposed to be in the spirit of, of flow with you, right? So I want to encourage you. The very first tip I got to tell you, sis, is you got to disconnect from the outcome. So what that means is if things work out, they work out. If y'all end up together, amen. They get, if y'all don't, y'all don't. If if y'all ever talk again, amen. If y'all never see each other again, amen. You have to be okay with allowing the outcome to be the outcome. That you are not the alpha and omega of your life. That God is. And so what you say is, you know what? I can only control Morgan. And I can only control what Morgan is going to do. So you know what? I am not going to try to control some circumstances that may or may not work the way I want them to work. I am going to disconnect from the outcome of this situation. So whatever the outcome is, Lord, if it's together or apart, let it be. That's not my problem. I can't control that. So if I got to say this a thousand times a day to myself, that I will disconnect from the outcome. I am no longer going to connect my worth, my purpose, myself, my future to the outcome of this relationship. I will disconnect from the outcome and I will just continue to flow with the Lord and trust that, hey, the Lord has prepared tables for me and I will walk up to the table that the Lord has for me. So I'm going to disconnect myself from this outcome, from this, whatever may happen here. I'm going to disconnect myself from that. So I don't hold myself back nor stand here in this anxious energy trying to figure out what's going to happen here. I wish y'all I would have got that earlier and I would have learned that years ago before all this stuff happened to me. I wish I would have learned that, but it took me a while to get that. Oh, but girl, now, oh, I disconnect pretty quick, okay? I'll disconnect and pull my energy back real fast. Like, ooh, that person ain't really acting right, Lord. Disconnect. Like, uh-uh. Lord, if it if it's, it's whatever got to be, got to be. Now I'm on another level with it. Sometimes I'm a little too good at it, but, uh, but I had to, it took a while to get here. So I want to encourage you, girl, disconnect with the outcome and trust that whatever may be, it shall be, okay? Tip number two, and this right here is powerful. When you are starting to stop, when you are starting, when you are stop, when it's when you're starting to no longer be delusional about a man, 
Tip number two is you got to focus more on yourself and on your life, okay? What happens when we are being very delusional about a man is a lot of our energy sometimes is going, our mental capacity is going to the possibilities with him. It's going to maybe fairy tale stories we have told ourselves. It's going to all these little areas of possibility when the truth is we need to be putting that back into ourselves, okay? And if you're even still kind of entertaining the man or you're you spending time with the man sometimes, then I want to encourage you, girl, start focusing more on you and your life, okay? This is what this looks like. You need to ask yourself, what do I want to create in my life? Outside of him, outside of if we're together or not, what do I want to create in my life? Okay, so 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 that means is do I do I want to get a new car? Do I want to get this body right? Do I want to um, get my teeth done? Like, do I want to do I want to invest money in my in my education a little more? What do I want to do for me outside of wherever we're going to end up outside of the possibility of us? But just for me as the individual, where do I want to be? And I got to give you this quote real quick by Dr. Miles Monroe. It says, your marriage is only as good as your singleness. And what I'm trying to tell you is even when you get married, you still are going to be a single individual with single dreams and single possibilities and, and a single person. So I want to encourage you to make sure your singleness is really good because that's how good your marriage is. When you can be a full whole individual and then you can come to someone like that, you're still going to be that individual even in your marriage. So I want to encourage you now to embrace the beauty of your singleness, the beauty of being alone, and start focusing and looking more at your life, okay? Creating what you want to create, having a healthier body, going after your purpose and your goals, getting more focused, okay? So I want to encourage you this too. When you take your energy away from the possibility of this individual and you put it back on yourself, what happens is now you realize you got a little more time. You got a little more energy. You got a little more capacity to do the things you've been wanting to do. So that's why I want to encourage you this. You want to take the energy that you were giving this person, the energy that you were giving to this area of your life, this delusional place, the energy that you were giving to this situation, and I want you to start putting that back in yourself. So what I mean is, if you was always on the phone until late with this person, get off the phone earlier and start spending time doing something that you like to do. If you was always going over there in the evening time doing whatever, now it's time to start staying home and start cooking and baking some meals, doing the stuff you actually like to do. Okay. If you always get up uh, late and, and you always, cause you always on the phone all night. Now it's time to get off the phone earlier cause you want to get up earlier so you can get that morning workout in. Okay. It's time to start focusing back on yourself. Okay. Um, and that's really what helps you break out of the delusion of, of whatever you have been telling yourself or whatever stories you've been replaying about how things are going to work out. So I want you to put that energy back into yourself and also focus on what you want to create for your life. That's why the vision board party going to bless somebody because it's allowing you to put that energy and that focus back on what you want to create for your life. Not what you want to create for you and their life, but for your life. Okay. Focus on you. Okay, boo. And this is why I want to tell you, this is another part of the focus on you. Why you got to focus on you again sometimes is because you got to, sometimes we end up being like a ship that left the dock with no destination. So if a ship leaves the dock and it has no target, it can end up anywhere. But nine times out of 10, if this ship leaves the dock with a target, it's going to end up where it meant to end up. So what happens is when we start becoming delusional about a man, sometimes we are, we are like the ship out there going whichever way that man acts at that season if he's acting good then our ship is going in a direction of whatever that way is with him and when he's acting bad our ship is going in another direction and then when he's acting kind of lukewarm then our ship is going in another direction no 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 I want to encourage you girl you don't want to be like the ship that left the dock with no target you want to have your target and your focus and know where you're headed and you know you're going that way so no matter how the waves may come in life or how the delusion of that man may come around you're still on target for where you're headed okay tip number three how you stop being delusional about a man is you got to realize, girl, that you are the prize. And I know a lot of people out there tell us that we're not the prize. Like, oh, ladies, y'all say that too much. But sis, sometimes you really got to realize you are the prize, okay? And what happens is sometimes we can be so delusional about the man that we see all the good of him and we see him as the prize and we, dis we disregard all the good of us. We disregard our heart. We disregard our beauty. We disregard what we are carrying because we only see him and all that he is carrying and what he can offer, but we don't see the beauty of what we offer. Daughter of God, I want to tell you right now how to stop 
being delusional about a man is you got to acknowledge that you are the prize. You got to realize that you carry in some stuff that's going to bless his life. You got to realize that you are something that's different. You got to realize that you're not just some regular degular. You got to realize that you went through some healing and you went through some things to, to overcome and you went through the fire and you are a better person and that you are a loving person and you got a good heart and you're going to do things at another level. You're going to take your life to different places. You got you got a purpose and a vision for your life. You got to acknowledge that you are the prize. You got to acknowledge that because sometimes what happens is we start seeing the man as the prize and we so delusional for season after season and we disregard all the beauty that we're carrying, all the grace and the goodness and the favor and the anointing that we are carrying. So daughter of God, I want to tell you today, you are the prize and stop seeing him as the catch. And this is what, this is a good lie of the enemy. Because I remember when I was a young girl, I was dating this man and he told me and he, I was and to him. I was acting up. I guess I wasn't doing things the way he wanted me to do things. And he said, when he, you are sitting on a gold mine, he told me that you are sitting on a gold mine and you're going to ruin this. And truly, this man had me really believing that he was the gold mine and that I had to act right or I would not receive this good thing, as well as this man had me believing that I would be nothing without him, that I had no future, no possibility, no beauty, no love. There would be nothing good in my life without this man. I truly believe that. And I want to tell you, that's a lie of the enemy. Because you know what happened? Over time, your girl got some wisdom. And over time, your girl got smart. And she realized, hold on. Actually, sir, you were sitting on a gold mine. And actually, sir, my life is better without you. And actually, all of this was just a lie of the enemy. This was all just a lie. So daughter, if you are believing right now that your life can be nothing without that person, that there will never be no more love in your life, that you can't even see but oh, the love that's around you with your family or other people. If that is you, daughter of God, I want to tell you right now, what you need to do is you need to start acknowledging that you are the prize, the good things you possess, the good things you carry. You got to acknowledge that. No one can acknowledge it for you. People see it all the, people see it all the time and I do too and I've seen it where you know, we date some and then later on you're like what did I see in them and really it was because you didn't see yourself as a prize and I need you to get that today that's how you quit being delusional about wishy-washy men that's why you be to quit being delusional about men that ghost you and then come back and ghost again because you know you are the prize there's no need for that you are the prize so if you have been believing the lie that you can't be anything without this individual that this individual is the best thing to come and that you ain't can never be nothing and there will never be no good things in your life out without this individual, then you are believing a lie right now and not acknowledging the worth that you're walking in and the work that you carry. You are the process. And I got to give this bonus tip because I've been saying, the Lord been saying this to me for a while for in my life. And it took a while to get, and I'm still working through it right now because I have had some issues with my self-worth as well and some abandonment issues and all kinds of stuff. And so I've been working through this, but this is something I want to tell you right now. This is a bonus tip. The greatest love of your life is the love you feel for yourself through Jesus Christ. I'm going to say it again. The greatest love of your life is not that man or somebody else. It is the love that you feel for yourself through Jesus. Jesus Christ. I say that because it tells us in Mark, they asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus answers two questions. He answers it with two answers. He says, the greatest commandment is to love your God and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the greatest commandment is to love God and to love people as yourself so you cannot love your neighbor if you do not love yourself so that's why i'm telling you that bonus tip is the biggest tip of all the greatest love story you will ever know the greatest love of your life is the love you feel for you is the love that you have for yourself that's the greatest love story and you know i used to think the greatest love story was with this man or this man or when me and this man get married and have children or when me and this person get together the greatest love story is when you fall in love with yourself through the love of jesus christ and not only only can you love God now but you can love people different that is the greatest love story and I will tell you I have been in love with people but not have truly loved myself and so that love has felt a little empty then I have been in love with myself and been alone for seasons where I've been so fulfilled so I'm sharing this with you because I don't want you to walk further into 2024 or 2025 or 2026 being delusional about a man girl it is time to let the delusion go 
and it is a time to embrace what you're truly carrying and it's walk into your true worth and acknowledge that the greatest love story is the love story of Jesus Christ's love flowing through you. That's the greatest love. That's the greatest love story. And that is the love story that we hold on to today. And that's the love story that I embrace. Now, there's all this love around me. I've got beautiful little nephews that I just love and adore. Like when I see their little faces, I'm just so in love with them. But I know that the greatest love is the love that I feel for myself through Jesus Christ. Because when I can love God and I can love myself, I can love his people. So daughter of God today, these three tips are to help you to stop being delusional about a man. And I will say, I have been delusional about a man. And it took me years to let that thing go. But I want to encourage you today. Try these three things. Try these three things, okay? And watch how slowly but surely it will loosen its grip, okay? Thank you so much for watching, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Three ways to no longer be delusional about a man. I hope it blesses you. And if you know a friend that needs this, share this with her. I'll see you on my next one.